Hi, in this video I will mention Sad Surah and I will try to analyze main topics and let's start with with the Surah the Quran that contains the proof those who disbelieve have plunged into arrogance and defiance so it is important that the arrogance arrogance is the Satan's uh, behavior because they cannot accept humans uh, as a superior they cannot um, they rebel against God many in a generation before them we annihilated they called for help in vain they wondered that a warner should come to them from among them the disbeliever said a magician a liar did he make the gods into one god this is really strange the leaders announced, go and steadfastly perse persevere in worshipping your gods, this is what is desired. We never heard of this from the religion of our fathers, this is a lie. So this is important that some atheists criticize religion, thinking that they actually believe their father's religion, but actually Quran criticizes it and says that we never heard of this from the religion of our fathers. Why did the proof come down to him instead of us? Indeed, they are doubtful of my proof. Indeed, they have not yet tasted my retribution. So they are jealous of the Prophet. Do they own treasures of mercy of your Lord, the Almighty, the Granter? And do they possess the so sovereignty of the heavens and the earth and everything between them? Let them help, the help themselves. Instead, whatever forces they can muster, even if all their parties banded together, will be defeated. So, this is interesting that in this surah, so this verse mentions, possess the sovereignty of the heavens and the control, the power, and the generally, and it, there are stories of uh, about power and possessing power in starting from uh, 23, I guess. Let's read more. Uh, instead, whatever forces they can, even if all their parties banded together, will be defeated. Disbelieving before them were the people of Noah, Ad, and the mighty pa Paro, and uh, Tamud, the people of Lot, the dwellers of the woods, those who were those were the opponents. Each of them disbelieved the messengers, and thus my uh, retribution was inevitable. These people can expect a single blow from which they never recover. They challenged our Lord, why do you not rush the retribution for us before the day of reckoning? Be patient in the face of their utterances and remember our servant David. So it starts from uh, the verse 70. The resourceful, he was obedient. So here it mentions that so believers can also possess power. And this is uh, distinctive in the surah, I guess. And he committed the we committed the mountains and in his service, glorifying with him night and day. So somehow he has power to control it. And this is like now we have different powers, different technology than before. Also, the birds were committed to serve him. All were obedient to him. So birds about communication, it's a, it's a very nice symbol actually, like it's also related to the future. We strengthened his kingship and endowed him with wisdom and good logic. So it mentions logic and good logic is necessary to have this power actually. Have you received the news of the man who, fielding man who sneaked into his sanctuary? When they entered his room, he was startled. They said, have no fear, So, and we are seeking your fair judgment. So he are asking for judgment, and uh, there is a person in charge. Do not wrong us and guide us in the right path. This brother of mine owns 99 sheep, while I own one sheep. He wants to mix my sheep with his and continues to pressure me. He said, he is being unfair to you by asking to combine your sheep with his, most people who combine their properties treat each other unfairly, except those who believe and work righteousness. And these are so few. 
afterwards, they would wonder if we, he made right judgment. He thought that we were testing him. So afterwards, they would wonder if he made right judgment. So they would did a good thing or not. So he is also seems also a manager, and he has to decide things fairly. He thought that God were we were testing him. He then implored his Lord for forgiveness, bowed down and repented. So here we see that he's not sure. Yeah. Inter interestingly, he is not sure about it, and he is asking for help from God. And here we see interestingly about economy, something about economy. And uh, we forgave him in this matter. We have granted him a position of honor with us and a beautiful abode. David, we made you a ruler on earth, therefore you shall judge among people equitably, and do not follow your personal opinion, lest it diverse you from the way of God. Surely those who stray of the way of God incur severe retribution for forgetting the day of reckoning. So David, uh, we have so so he did a good job after doing this, and uh, it's important that he didn't follow the personal opinion. Here we see that here in the at the end of this uh, uh, surah. So interestingly. It mentions, here is awesome news, that you are totally oblivious to you. I had no knowledge previously about the failed in the high society. I am inspired that my sole mission is to deliver uh, the warnings to you. And your Lord said to the angels, I am creating a human being from clay. And once I design him and blow into him from my spirit, you shall fall prostrate before him. The angels fell prostrate, all of them, except Satan. He refused and was too arrogant and appreciative. He said, Oh, Satan, what prevented you from prostrating before what I created with my hands? Are you too arrogant? Have you rebelled? So here we see that he has personal opinion too. He said, I'm better than he. It's a personal opinion. It's not logical. You created me from fire and created him from clay. And he said, therefore, you must be exiled. You will be banished. You have incurred my condemnation until the day of judgment. He said, My Lord, respite me until the day of resurrection. He said, You are respited until the appointed day. He said, I swear by your majesty that I will send them all astray, except your worshippers who are devoted absolutely to you alone. He said, This is the truth, and the truth is all that I uttered. I will fill hell with you and all those who follow you. Say, I do not ask you for any wage, and I am not an imposter. This is a reminder for the world, and you will certainly find out in a while. So, here previously, also, uh, they also, it all, there are also other stories mentioned. Remember our servant Job. He called upon his Lord. The devil has afflicted me with hardship and pain. Strike the ground with your foot. A spring will give you healing and drink. We restored his family for him twice as many. Such is our mercy and reminder for those who possess intelligence. Now you shall travel the land and preach the message to fulfill your pledge. We found him steadfast. What a good servant. He was a submitter. Remember our, also our servants, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They are resourceful and possessed vision. So, here it mentions uh, God, people God gave power. And here, interestingly, at the end, God gave power to Satan too. Interesting thing is God gave him power to, my Lord, respite me until the devil. So actually, Satan is working for God too. He's, Satan is working because God allows Satan. So this is very inter interesting that all those stories combined together and um, it, it creates a very in, very beautiful harmony and so that's my interpretation and I hope you like this video and if you like this video you can tell me if you think I have some problems you can comment this video and correct me